this and then just toss one more and then you're all the way over here. Kinda cool. There you go. Oh, hey, hello everybody. I'm just watching a Pikachu video on the Zata. Oh, Kulan. Nice use of skill to just get some gap there. That has got to be my favorite play of Pikachu's video here. 45% MVP for Zasa gameplay. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, I thought 30 was enough, so I was going to make a video there. But just as I was browsing through YouTube before trying to make my voiceover. Oh, man, a 45%. Anyway. That is a okay. We okay. will still be sharing with you today a gameplay from uh, my ranked games. It is going to be a 30% Zata gameplay. I'm again playing with William and uh, Bill, my two uh, rank buddies here. We're going to be playing a Zata gameplay. Zata, Zata, Zata. Different from what Pikachu said from in her video, I actually like to uh, main my first ability. I think it deals a little bit of more damage. Actually, let me just double check in the game right now. Uh, it deals... Uh, you know what? I don't know if it deals enough. Uh, a ton of damage. It does... Actually, it does have that explosion at the end of it. So I do think it deals a little bit more damage, but um, I don't know. Anyway, it's just what I'm used to, so yeah. But... Where our combo for clearing and things like that after your level 2 is exactly the same. It's gonna be a first ability and then your second ability. Actually, there's two things about that one there. Uh, you can do first ability and then second imme ability immediately if your target is stationary. So you'll see me do this right here. I'm uh, just taking a look at this blue buff. I want to make sure I deal enough damage to it. So it's a first and a second ability to a stationary target. Now in this game, I don't do a whole lot of the second one. But the second one is if your target is close to you, you can actually use the second ability first and then walk towards your whirlwind and then use your first ability. The, the concept there is just that the whirlwind travels towards you while the, um, the first ability projectile goes away from you. So if you gap close by walking in, you'll, you should be able to uh, proc your passive, which is the explosion and the enhanced normal attack uh, by doing so. Okay, and then of course, by exploding, look at that, half HP. By exploding your skills together, you deal a ton of damage. Plus that enhanced normal attack, I can do a poke and hurt Liliana a lot. Yeah. Now I'm just coming over here trying to get a pick off, but on the mini map I saw the uh, the Lubu coming through. I'm not really afraid of this Grack, but I'm still gonna walk away. Here's gonna be my dashes. I have four. I can get to Jimmy No Chu, but oh man, my skills killed him before I can actually get the dash off onto him, and I break my chain. Now for Zata, those of you who are not too familiar with Zata, first of all. He's not he's not too hard actually. You can you can go ahead and uh, practice him. He's really interesting. You just have to know uh, your what's it called? Your victory conditions, okay? You're not the first to go in. You're either going in when everybody is low or you're doing pokes. Okay, so just remember that. Now for Zata under him there's five little marks, okay? The middle one is orange, and what that orange one tells you is that uh, your next two stacks uh, of flight does not need to actually hit anything uh, to continue that chain. The mark on your head is the uh, how many dashes you get. Alright, but let's just hold on to our breath. Arctigore comes through! I'm not going to be able to get that dash, but nice is... Uh, the Wonder Woman coming through. You saw the five dash over there. I had five uh, at my disposal. Um, flicker used here because of the Liliana coming through on the minimap. If you didn't catch that, you can uh, 
jump through to check it out again. But anyway, let's talk about the micros here a little bit more. So five stacks, those are granted to you when you hit a in uh, oh, I almost say enhanced, but enhanced normal attack. Um, so you have to make sure that you actually proc your enhanced normal attack with the uh, explosions and then you deal a damage uh, like a normal attack damage to anything okay so just weave in an auto attack after having your enhanced normal attack i think that's the way it works let me double check so here i don't have enhanced normal attack and i make attacks to them yeah yeah that's just how it is okay cool i just checked on the game i'll be showing a combo later on as well that uh, ends up do reducing your CD a whole ton. Anyway, so you end up being able to stack up the numbers that way and uh, your dash deals a lot of damage so make sure you actually hit people with it. Uh, I was talking about the um, victory conditions for Zata. Uh, you don't want to play as the person to go in first. You just want to be poking. It's actually really much like Liliana. You want to poke people down to about half HP before you really go in, unless you have like you know teammates to help you out. Speaking of Liliana, I do think Liliana is quite a comfortable hero to pick against Sata, just because you have so much uh, movement abilities and your stun and stuff. Uh, if you can land them nicely, you can still deal a bunch of poke damage. It's basically two Zatas playing against each other kind of idea, but um, not really, okay? <laughs> Don't mark my words there. Over here, I'm gonna just scare these guys with a uh, with some of my abilities to be like, Hey man, I can get up in the air. Little did they know, I already used my ultimate earlier. Now, we wanted to show that aggression, by the way, because uh, look at Hayate's position. We can keep them at bay at the top lane over there, and Hayate can take down this middle tower. I was thinking, okay, Arum, you're really low. We're not gonna fight that, right? So I didn't go up immediately. But for some reason, they still kept fighting. I think they were just, I don't know. Anyway, so they kept fighting, and so I came here uh, to just deal some damage. As soon as I land, it's a normal attack to be able to take him away. Take the Brunhilda out of there. Again, that was an enhanced normal attack. The way you can tell is uh, this thing right there. Okay, when it when it procs, look right there. And then after I use my thing, it disappears. Okay, so if you're not sure if you proc your enhanced normal attack, just check down there, and uh, you should be able to see it. Over here, I didn't mean to take the red buff, but oh well. Did we get the kill? Not bad. Alright, it's gonna be a lot of damage coming through. I do not try to get up in the air, uh, you know, as soon as possible. I don't use the 3 dash, I use the 4 dash instead. And I could have gone with the 5, but I couldn't actually get the number 5 there because uh, I actually didn't proc my, you know, my explosions. Uh, but basically the decision there was, if your enemy can't kill you, then just take your time. Take your time. One dash at a time, you know? And then just deal as much damage as you can and slow down, okay? He's actually not a character that you need to be really fast at. Yeah. And then when uh, at the late game, you can actually use your ultimate as almost like a flicker, you know? It's, it's that useful. Very awesome. Alright. Before going on, let me show you an interesting combo. So here is the Zata inside an actual game. You can actually get close to 9 to 8 seconds cooldown. And how do you do that? Well, there's the 10 seconds and you can actually do more. Oh, I know why. Hey, I swear I was actually just doing the 10 seconds. I mean the 9 second one, but... Okay, you get the idea, it's close enough. Wow, amazing. So, if you're doing an ambush and uh, you just want to poke people down, you know you probably can't kill them, that's a, something that you can do. And if you can kill them with a 3 dash, why not? You know, let's get back into the video. We're gonna skip it a little bit ahead, I think. We got a 305, grab the dragon, no problem. See what we're gonna do next. 
it's gonna be invading into other people's towers we push in the middle lane here now it's up to the top lane and going for the jungle invade not a problem I'm gonna go ahead and camp out over here uh, no problem oh my goodness <laughs> you how did you know I'm there and then oh no Lubu okay okay Lubu's gonna go around this corner right nope right through the mm. That is gonna be my only death this game, I think, but uh, didn't feel very good. You'll see later on that I end up making sure that I actually flicker <laughs> for the Lubu. I just don't want him to get on uh, get on top of me. I feel like that's one of the weaknesses of Zata. If you get in into him, uh, it's really hard for them to know. It's really hard for me as a Zata to know how to react to that without any sort of movement abilities. Um, you know, because my second ability puts it behind the guy and then my first ability goes through people but I don't deal a ton of damage just with my first ability alone and I don't get to you know I don't get to kill him so yeah I die all right Lubu it is time for revenge there we go let's slow down our approach and just use some of those enhanced normal attacks I didn't even need to take flight and I just killed him okay yeah <laughs> Tons of damage if you just take your time with your combo. Um, you don't even, like, at a certain point, you have so much gold on top of the other people that just, uh, you know, just, just get your, just get your damage up and, uh, slow down with your combo as long as they don't have enough burst to kill you. Go in, auto attack, go in, auto attack, hit, hit an ability, you know slide another step to catch them you know and then they'll die yeah try to hit the people with your slide though I think we covered that previously all right what's next all right big fight coming in now everybody's just uh, slowly slowly getting ready Lubu is he want to make an entrance and Wonder Woman makes an entrance instead he gets completely snared out by the uh, our, our uh, support over there Lubu looking very strong, but I'm just gonna use my flicker to get out of that one. It's gonna be now only the carries left. Actually, Liliana fell as well. So, crack and Brunhilda, my ultimate is up in four seconds. No problem, we can actually go ahead and just kill a Brunhilda if we're good about this. But, uh, she goes right into the fountain, so instead we're gonna have to basically go for this crack instead. No more kills in this game, but GG. And like I said, it is gonna be a 30% damage dealt. Even at my skill level, we still did it. So, go and get Zata. Have some fun. And uh, if you want that skin, this skin is awesome. Uh, it's part of the reason that I decided to pick up Zata to play. Let me show you what the. Uh, how much is it? There's a good reason why I'm uh, why I'm thinking about how much is it. Because let's tell you about game night again. If you haven't heard already, game night we are North American uh, event sponsored by Arena of Valor, sponsored by Game TV. Uh, that's where our prize pool is coming from. You get a chance to earn up to 2,000 vouchers uh, every week if you come and participate. It is by raffles, so you don't have to win, you don't have to do anything really special. Just come and participate, have fun, and you'll be able to get tons of vouchers. You can see on my the top left of my screen that I also get some uh, compensation. I haven't spent any of it actually, so that's why it's a crazy amount right over there. But it's a lot of fun, it's real, you know. A lot of people have been getting prizes and stuff, and uh, let's just take a look at how much this skin had cost. I didn't buy it, but I think there was a there was a time when it was in a chest or something. You get to uh, buy codex and stuff with the vultures, okay? So uh, come on out, come on out, come out have some fun. We are making some improvements. Next game night is going to be on the 15th. And lastly, I'll leave you with some nice little stuff. I'll leave you with some nice things. Check it out. Some people, they're sharing what they have bought. You know, it's real. Everybody's getting lots of gifts. So if you haven't heard, if you're not in here, get in here. Of course, any server only. So unfortunately, if you're not in any server, you can come watch. And uh, hopefully we'll be getting some other kind of prizing for it those people who watch as well yeah so let's take a look at all the kind of prizes they've been getting this is real uh, you know people have been sharing 
in this channel over here what they've been getting. Some people just save up the vultures for a while until they can get, you know, really cool skins like that Yenag one or uh, they buy things for the, you know, the special lucky draws and things like that. I think people just buy skins and codex. Definitely worth coming out if you haven't done so already to earn some of those vultures for yourself. NA server and if you're not in NA server, unfortunately you won't be able to participate unless you make an NA account. Um, but you can still watch and uh, for watching we are trying to get some sponsorships also so that you can win some interesting giveaways so come on out i think next time we're gonna have some sort of cash giveaway no promises but if we can get that uh sponsorship stuff done it's gonna be there so come on out all right guys see you later